Hello, I'm Aksubo George now. I'm so blessed. You know, every time I bring God's truth to you, my heart is so glad. You know why? Because, because it's, the, it's the work of the Spirit of God. I enjoy being used by Him, praise God, to be a blessing to you. I enjoy it so much. You, you, you can't share truth like this and be sad. Ah, that's impossible, praise God. Hey, are you ready to call for our delivery right now? I have got so much faith today. Something good is coming your way. Say these words to me. Say, Father, I demand and I receive my daily bread today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. And Father, we are so blessed to have your spirit with us. Teaching us all truth. Guiding us into all truth. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. I declare burdens are lifted right now. Yokes are destroyed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now we are talking about how to walk in the light. Now have you been getting something from this? Now listen. We, we, we continue from our scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 and 13. It says, we have received not the spirit of the world. There is the spirit of the world, brothers and sisters. That is not the spirit he's talking about. Now, there is the spirit that is of God. That is the Holy Spirit. Now, that's the one he's talking about. Now, that's the one he said we have received. So, I asked you, have you received it? If you haven't received him, get ready to receive him right now. Hallelujah. You, you don't have to wait for anybody. It, it's something you can say where you are. Say, Holy Spirit, you know what? I need you now. I need you now. Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he does it. He, he, you ask, he will give it to you. Jesus said, no man will have his child asking for bread and he will give him a stone. No one will ask for fish and he will give him a serpent. He says, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Ghost to them that ask? You see, God is so ready to give you the Holy Spirit. You know why? Because he knows that without the Holy Spirit, you will walk in darkness. If the Holy Spirit is not there, you're in darkness. You're in darkness. There is nothing that can be done about it. You're in darkness. So you keep moving from darkness to darkness. God knows. And he is not about to waste your life. He's not about to waste time with you. So he knows when you come to him, the first thing he gives to you is the Holy Spirit. So now he says, we have received them. So that we will know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Not by man. Not by man. Not by man. But by God. Oh, hallelujah. You, you know, you know, I'll tell you a personal testimony. You know, many years ago, you know, I get broke and, and, and like, well, what's this? You know, ah, you know okay, so what do I do? I prayed, I sowed seeds, you know, you're just trying to get out of this whole lack thing, you know, I don't want to, I don't live in that place where I don't have money and I don't know what to do. And I got to that point where I almost gave up to an extent. And I began to think about what to do next. And thank God for the Holy Spirit. And God began to teach me stuff. He began to talk to me. I'll never forget the first thing the Lord said to me. He says, I've got money everywhere on earth and you don't know about it. I said, yeah, Lord, the earth is yours and the fullness there. He said, no, you don't get it. He says, sometimes we are blinded by the things we think we know. He says, you don't get it. Then he said, the tight. I said, yeah. Now God had called me into ministry then. And the Lord told me then, he says, don't start a church. 
Lord. So the Lord said, now I'm talking to God about money for myself, money for ministry. And then, and then he goes, the Lord said, I've got money everywhere. And he says, the tight. I said, Lord, you said I should not start church. Why are you talking to me about the tight? And the Lord said, he said, that's the mistake you've been making. That's the mistake my children have been making. I said, what mistake? He said, who does the tithe belong to? I said, it's yours. So he said, 10% belongs to me, right? He said, yeah. I said, yeah. He said, am I dead? No, of course. Then he said, if you say the tithe belongs to me, have you ever asked me what you should do with my money? Now, we have been tithing because it has been revealed to us that there is a blessing where tithing is concerned. So we know this thing that is freely given to us. We know it. We know when we tithe that, 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 that he said, he said in Malachi, he said, I'll open the wing. He was telling them, challenge me now and see. Because God was telling them, you're suffering. He said, you know why you're suffering? Because you have been robbing me. How? Tight. Then he says, bring here all the tithe into my store. Prove me now and see if I will not open the windows of it. Now, this was some years ago God was dealing with me on this. So, and the Lord said, I'm not dead. But you don't ask me what you should do with my money. I said, never thought about that before. Never heard anybody talk about this before. And then he said, from henceforth. Now, this, listen, we just read something. That we might know the things that have been freely given to us. So now I know that divine prosperity is a free gift. I knew. I knew. Now, if you don't know this as a believer, you're in the dark. Oh, you're in the dark. So I knew. But then it wasn't working. It wasn't working. And the Lord said to me, he says, from now on, you don't give your tithe until you hear me tell you what to do with it. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I began to think about it. I said, come to think. And then I, I remember the illustration the Lord gave me. He said, it, it's like you, you have, because I was asking, I said, but we give it in church. He said, yeah, but it's an assumption. It's an assumption. It's not accurate. So he told me, he said, you are like, you know, you do business with your friend over in a different city far from you. And, and your friend was, you, you, you know, was going to handle the payment parts because you know, maybe you supplied something and you were banking on him to get the payment. And then your friend calls you one day and says, hey, guess what? They say, what? He said, I'm just leaving the bank. He said, oh, wow, why? why? He said, you know that job we did? He said, yeah, they just paid. Oh, they just paid. He said, yeah, I just went to you know, clear the check. I said, wow, that's beautiful. He said, yeah. And then he said, so, um, you know, you, you know your, your part is supposed to be 40%, right? They say, yeah. I saw, you remember that last time, two years ago, you came to our city? say, yeah. You remember that your cousin introduced me to say, guess what? When I was entering the bank, I saw him. So I just said, hold on, please. And then I gave him your portion. And the Lord asked me, are you going to be pleased with that? I said, no. Cause I, he said, why? Because I didn't tell him to do that. He said, but it's your reality. He said, yeah, but then a lot of things can still go wrong. The Lord said, yeah, you see now? I understood perfectly what the Lord was saying. So I said, Lord, I'm sorry. We haven't been doing this thing right. I'm sorry. And then, I, now, what's going on? These things, verse 13 now, these things we also speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy... Now, what was happening to me? Someone, the Holy Ghost, was teaching me something I didn't know before. Kalabasha Pradiha. He was teaching me what I didn't know before. Nobody taught me these things. And then I, I repented that day, and I began to practice this. Oh, I, I receive money. I, I take out my tithe. Oh, tithing became interesting. Praise God. I take out my tithe now and I know, oh, Lord, Lord, I've got your money. Praise God. What, what would you have me do with it? 
Then he will instruct me. And I want you to give it to so so and so. Oh, okay. But I know his voice. Praise God. Like, okay. So I'll obey. And then I, I go down and say, hey, how, how are you doing? You know, the Lord said I should give you this. And I'm like, wow. The Lord said you should give me. Say, yeah. Like, do you know this is what I was looking for? Exactly this money is what I needed. I say, well, your father asked me to come give it to you. I said, whoa. What a, what a joy. <laughs> what a joy. Now, I, the, I mean, I became too conscious now that, ha, huh, I'm in God's financial system. Praise <laughs> God. I, I'm in something big. And guess what? Soon enough, I began to receive the same kind of testimony. I would be doing something and someone would just call me and say, oh, um, the Lord said I should send you some money. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and do it. <laughs> you know, like, where do I send it? I send it to this account. And then it comes and guess what? It's just exactly or sometimes a little over what I'm about to do. Many, many, many testimonies. Oh, I, I remember, you know, my, my wife had a minor accident, you know, recently, a few weeks ago. And, and oh, listen, Lord, <laughs> Lord, you're just so awesome. And so we, we had to, you know, take the guy to the hospital and then fix his bike and fix the car also. So, you know, I, the, when, I, when I went, got to the scene, I saw the car like, oh, okay, so we have to fix the car immediately, you know. So we took it, called the mechanic, sort out, sorted out everything, the medical bill for the person and, and, and just sorted out everything. And while we're on it, and... I was talking to the Lord. I was just asking the Lord, why, why would this thing happen? Now we have to spend this money. Now we have, this is, this is not. And guess what? I received some money. And the person said, the Lord just ministered to him that he should send that money to him. And guess what? It was, it was just a little over. When you take out the tithe of that money, it was just a little over everything we did that day. The fixing of the car, paying the medical bills of the guy, giving him the extra money you know, for his lost day and business. We gave him some money. Everything we did, he replenished. How did he do? He commanded somebody to. I'm like, whoa. Now, 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 it, it has become so normal. It, it's so, it's so normal. Praise God. I, I'm telling you what, what was going on. Now you realize you can live life without begging anybody for anything. You realize you can live life, you know, just, the Bible says that we may live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness. Hallelujah. And, and we begin to, you know, this thing, where did it start from? Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. So the question is, what has the Holy Ghost taught you concerning that thing that you are believing for? You know that it is yours. You pray, you saw visions. But, but hey, what are the teachings of the Spirit of God where that thing is concerned for you? Hear me, you will never walk steadily or consistently in any blessing until you receive teachings, not from man, from the Holy Spirit concerning that thing. A man can teach you and you say, I'll put it to work. You may put it to work. It will work once, it will work twice, then it will stop. You know what I'm talking about. But when the Holy Ghost teaches you, he is bringing, it's because he doesn't just teach you. The moment the Holy Ghost begins to teach, you know what that means? It means truly you have been divinely selected for this thing. So the moment he teaches you, the only thing that will stop you is when you begin to walk in disobedience concerning the teaching of the Holy Spirit. For example, I don't play with my tithes. 
It doesn't matter what anybody, you know, I, you know, I told you one time, because the Lord told me the same thing. He said, the people who are saying you shouldn't, you shouldn't tie it again, they are walking by the spirit of the Antichrist. Why would I boldly say that? Because Christ taught me to tie it and to tie it right. And I enjoy the benefit. Oh, Barry, if I tell you testimonies, I enjoy that benefit so much. And someone's now telling you, don't die. By who say it? <laughs> Praise God. Our time is up today. Listen, this is so interesting. And, and this, is, this is what it is to walk in the light. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed today. Amen. Bye-bye.